July flew by in a summer haze of paintings, friends, time outside and a juggling act of secret art projects waiting to be released this autumn. It was a month of creating and planning, connecting, and it's left me at the start of August feeling a happy tired and fulfilled. In this video, I'm showing my latest hike and warm up sketches, followed by a painting session outside, sharing how I adapt my painting to work outdoors. So grab a cuppa and get comfy, as this one is a little longer than usual. And if you'd like to hop back to specific sections, you'll find the timestamps below. Hello. My name is Orla and I'm a Scottish painter, illustrator and designer. If you're new here, I make videos about my creative practice and my love for nature and the outdoors, often bringing my work outside. I love painting because of its opportunity to loosen up, relax and if I'm honest, play and make a really big mess. Plus, it gets me outside, often sketching outdoors as part of my research process. Before we get stuck in, I'd like to say a really big thank you to my lovely community for helping me pick this video topic in this week's polls. I've started my walk with sketching by the river, focused on exploring texture, marks and value using charcoal. I love starting off with value sketches as they help me tune into what I can see with a more analytical focus before I head into abstracting the landscape within my work. This is a new sketchbook I'm working in. I usually love working big and on loose leaf paper outside, but I'm beginning to see the value in having something pocket sized, making it much easier to draw on the move. My walk is heading up along this ridge line, which will give me great views into the surrounding valleys. Some trees caught my eye as I started up the hill, so I took some time to sketch them, focusing on positive and negative space in oil pastels. At the top of the hill, I have lugged this board that you'll see behind me. Um, I'm lugging this board up the hill, which is something I rarely do, to be honest, because it's just really cumbersome. But I brought my paint, so I've got a massive bag with me, and I'm just taking it slowly on this walk, getting up there, and hopefully, as long as it doesn't rain, I hope we're going to get some actual painting outside done today. I just missed it, but there was a red squirrel right over there by that tree. Sorry guys, hopefully another time. So at this part of the walk, the left hand side really starts to open out. We're getting all these ferns um, up into the fields to the left. And behind me, you can see the looming clouds above Ben Ledy. And yeah, that's the reason. I'm just trying to punt it up the hill, trying to get up as quickly as possible. Um, so I can do some painting, hopefully have some drying time and then as I walk back down get some more sketching in my sketchbook done. That is now the adjusted plan, um, planarino. Okay so we're getting pretty close to the summit now and the wind is really starting to pick up which is always exciting. I love working when it's windy or stormy, it just adds some kind of energy to the experience and makes the whole painting a little bit more wild as a result. I've taped my paper to my board and I was just hoping the whole time that it sticks and doesn't fly away. I've always wanted to paint at this spot but I haven't ever gotten round to it. I'm not sure what this platform is exactly. There's a monument behind me so I wonder if it used to have a plaque on it with information or something like that. Anyhow, it is the perfect standing height for me, so welcome to my outdoor studio for the afternoon. Okay, so in true Scottish fashion, we're here at the top, and of course it has just started raining, so we're just gonna paint through the rain. I've got my waterproof. It'll be fine, we'll just see what happens. <laughs> so let's just go for it.
Today I'm working with my favourite combination of materials. We've got soft pastels, oil pastels, charcoal, Posca pens and acrylic paints. I've prepared three pages of paper before I came out, prepping them with three different colours as underpaintings. Check out my previous video, Finding Nature, where I chat more about why I do this. I'll pop a link above. In that video, I was focusing on working small, on A5 pages. It has been brilliant as a project, but I'm already itching to let loose on a larger page, so we're working on A3 and A2 today. I'm warming into the session with a larger sketch on A2 paper. On the back of the board, I've taped two other papers, and these will be my focus for a painting. I've started out loosely, sketching my surroundings, moving myself, the page and my focus to layer up different marks. I'm really interested in how you can embody an atmosphere and a place through painting, and how the physical movement of my interaction with the materials can capture this. It's why I love working big, so I can move and draw freely with big and expressive gestures. My approach to painting is always focused on the experience and my emotional reaction to a place over a literal representation. I love exploring how places make me feel and documenting this through colour, marks and composition. The paintings I'm working on today are responding directly to the landscape in front of me, looking down to Loch Lenacher here in the Trossachs National Park, so I've decided to keep them semi-representational today. Once I've sketched some marks out, I get cracking with the paint, using acrylics and varying consistencies to build up some form. I didn't bring a paint palette with me today, which is fine, because I often mix straight onto the page anyway. I love seeing how conversations of colour develop this way. I'd say these paintings are a combination of responses. They're a reaction to the landscape I'm in. They're a response to how the place is making me feel. They're taking into consideration what I can hear and also what's happening on the page. So it's a blend of improvisation, chance and discovery. I really enjoyed getting the paints outside, letting loose and just seeing what happens. There's a real sense of freedom in the unknown, and I love that about my process of painting. I'm always looking for a sense of energy, positivity and play in my work. I'm really enjoying this palette because it's giving me that feeling watching these videos back.
I take these back to the studio later on in the video to remove the edging tape and share the final pieces, so stay tuned to see how they turn out. Okay, so my plan is that as these paintings are drying, because it's going to take a little minute for them to, where I put thicker paint to, to be ready, my plan is to do some sketching. I'm just going to leave these here and go for a wee walk around the top of the, of the walk and yeah, just try some different drawing exercises. So all I'm taking with me to do these little field sketches is this notebook. Um, pencil and a little box with soft pastels, oil pastels and I've got two Posca pens, a black one and a white one so it just fits in my pocket which is perfect for walking around. As we're heading into late summer, my local landscape is heading into a palette of purples and greens. The heather is coming out in full bloom, so I've taken a wee moment to have a look at some of the bud shapes and forms. I'm trying out exercises in practice for my workshop next weekend. We're heading outside to learn all about sketching the landscape from both literal and abstract perspectives. So this has been a lovely test run to try out a few ideas before the event. If you are in the UK, I've popped a wee link down to that workshop below. Now that I'm back home, it's time to peel off the tape from these paintings. This bit is always slightly fearful, but also pretty exciting because you never really know how the painting is going to turn out until the tape is removed and you get those nice clean edges.
At the time of publishing this video, these paintings will be available for sale on my website. I'll pop a link down below. Newsletter subscribers always get first access to any work that I release, so if you'd like to stay in the loop, you can subscribe over on my website too, and I'll pop a link down below. Thank you for joining me on this painting session. If you've got something from this video, do let me know down in the comments below and perhaps consider giving us a wee subscribe and a like. And as always, I'll see you outside.